Well, there we are, friends, the busy streets of London. You know in Britain there are over 14 million vehicles using the roads. And the problem of crossing them becomes more acute, more hazardous every day, especially to the elderly pedestrian, whose reactions and general all-around movements have obviously become slower with the passing of the years. You know, it shocked me to learn that pedestrians over 60 years of age are amongst the most vulnerable of all road users, and that since the end of the war, something like 28,000 elderly pedestrians have been killed, and tragically, over 300,000 injured in road accidents. What a terrible waste of human life. Lives that have survived two world wars, in addition to many other hardships, only to be lost, friends, in a moment of carelessness or inattention when simply crossing the road. You know you can all help to prevent this terrible carnage by remembering and putting to practice, please, simple road safety rules, such as... When wishing to cross the road by a pedestrian crossing, always give approaching vehicles time to stop. Many elderly pedestrians are injured daily by falling in or from buses. Now, friends, never attempt to board a moving bus, for bad falls can cause irreparable damage to your limbs. Remember the old saying, better late than never. Next thing to remember, never attempt to cross busy roads between moving vehicles. Where possible, use the proper crossing, or if none is provided, wait until you have a really clear view of the road both ways. I mean, just look backwards and forwards as much as you want before crossing. So remember, crossing takes time. Now the next thing is when crossing at a road junction, watch out for turning traffic. For although the mainstream of traffic is stopped at the lights, there may be a filter arrow, and look for that filter arrow, allowing traffic to turn left. Now, where there are signs on the lights, please, please, always obey them. So that means only cross when the light shows, cross now. Mr. Sexton telephones his married daughter every Saturday afternoon before setting off to see the local football team play. Unfortunately, his son is not blessed with patience and is worried that the delay might cause them to miss the start of the match. And in a moment of frenzied haste, Mr. Sexton runs heedlessly into the road. Mr. and Mrs. Brownlow have been married for over 40 years, and they are extremely happy. They have six wonderful married children and ten beautiful grandchildren, and life to them is certainly worth living. Every Wednesday, they set off for an afternoon of enjoyment. Mr. Brownlow attends his local bowling club, and Mrs. Brownlow visits her eldest daughter, who lives close by. Unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, this particular Wednesday afternoon, will be one of tragedy and heartbreak for the Brownlow family. For Mrs. Brownlow, in an unthinking moment, steps straight into the road. Mrs. Williams is off for her usual Saturday afternoon tour of the local market, but she fails to realize that even the quiet side street where she has lived for over 20 years can prove as dangerous as any major road. Mrs. Williams died on the way to hospital. There are over 30 people in this group. Do you realize that this many elderly pedestrians are killed every week in road accidents? And next year, approximately 1,500 will be killed and over 15,000 injured. You have seen the fate of Mr. Sexton, Mrs. Brownlow, Mrs. Williams, Friends, you must all help to prevent these terrible tragedies which occur daily on our roads by using them correctly. 
I realize that the blame must be shared equally amongst all road users. But by remembering to stop, look, and make sure the road is clear before crossing, you can all contribute to the task of cutting down road accidents. As you have seen, there is so much to enjoy in life and so much to lose by being careless. Remember, folks, at any age, life is worth living. Live yours safely, please.